In this video, I'm going to examine the scientific evidence for the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. We will touch on why Stephen Collins' Tel El Hammam location is widely disputed. Please stay tuned. The biblical story of Sodom and Gomorrah is one of the greatest mass destructions that were caused by God. For me, the question of whether this story is true or not has long been answered. My recent videos on this channel deal exhaustively with this topic. Some of these videos are linked in the description and the card you will see over here. Biblical archaeologists believe that this is a true story, but either internal earth gases or the impact of an asteroid has always substantiated their reasoning. On this channel, we have analyzed the story from the perspective of the Bible and archaeology. In this video, however, I will consider the story from science perspective. In summary, the men of Sodom were wicked and disobedient to God, defying his power and his authority. The destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah was thus the result of this behavior. According to biblical archaeologists, the story must have happened near the Dead Sea or the cities of the plain, as mentioned in the Genesis account, Genesis chapter 13, verse 12. As Abraham could look upon the two prehistoric cities in ancient Israel from the area of Hebron. Archaeologist Stephen Collins, using information from the Bible and archaeological evidence from the site of Tel El Hammam in Jordan, suggested that he located Sodom to the northeast of the Dead Sea. However, his suggestion has not been accepted by other biblical archaeologists for two main reasons geographical misplacement and chronological misplacement. Therefore, if Tel El Hammam is indeed Sodom, then the Bible cannot be used as a rule for accurate dates and locations. Another more popular opinion is that the cities of Bab Edra and Numera, which are the only known inhabited towns in the region of the Dead Sea for the period of time between 3000 BC and 1000 BC, could be the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah, respectively. Both of these towns were simultaneously destroyed at the end of the early Bronze Age III period by an enormous fire so big as to create debris that are about three feet thick. The question here is, what could have caused such destruction? The excavations in the area point to fallen burning debris. This is where geologist Frederick Clapp suggests that the release of the subterranean substance called bitumen, a derivative of petroleum, during an earthquake may account for the debris. According to his theory, it ignited in the air and led to a shower of flaming debris that destroyed both of the cities. Another theory that has created debate between archaeologists is based on an Assyrian clay tablet showing that an asteroid may have destroyed the two cities. A Sumerian astronomer inscribed this cuneiform clay tablet around 700 BC. It shows the trail of an asteroid hitting Kofels in Austria around 3000 BC, which also may account for the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. In both suggestions, the description of such events by ancient people could very well identify with a description in Genesis which says, Then the Lord rained upon Sodom and Gomorrah, brimstones and fire from the Lord out of heaven. Genesis chapter 19 verse 24 Whether this scientific position is a definite proof or not is not the subject of this video. For me, the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah is purely an art of God. So what do you think about this? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. For more interesting biblical archaeology videos, please check the playlist displayed here. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and enable notifications for more insightful videos. And don't forget also to like this video if you like it. Share with friends and family on social media. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.